takes a whole lot for me to upgrade my PC. It takes some sort of fantastic deal on either Newegg or Amazon with Labor Day coming up and Newegg's, I believe it was their 30th year anniversary. I had to cop me some Intel. Sorry, Ryzen, but we're going back. So the plan for today is we are going to be switching our Ryzen PC back to Intel, but originally I was just gonna swap everything out of my main gaming rig, but I'm just getting so sick and tired of these full size cases and I just wanna downgrade in size. I need more leg space, I just need more space all around, and I'll show you guys here in a little bit once I throw you guys on the hat cam. Just kinda of what I'm dealing with, um, I run a streaming PC as well, so since I'm a cheapskate, I didn't feel like quite buying a mid-sized tower yet, so we're gonna be reusing an old tower and throwing in some of my new components into it. Originally, I was also going to be using my old SSDs, but I kind of threw that plan out the window. I'm just gonna turn my current gaming PC into my streaming PC, and that's just gonna be it. Um, the old PC, I'll just have to, I don't know what I'll do with it, but it'll be a backup. And we're gonna be making a whole new PC today for gaming. I'm going back to Intel. It's been a long time coming. We're going DDR5, we're going Gen 4 SSDs, and that's all gonna be put into an old PC case that I've been holding on to for years. It's gonna be hideous on the outside, awesome on the inside. Let's get into it. We're gonna go grab our old cases, get those blown out and cleaned up. I gotta fish out the old PC case, but I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride and throw you on the hat. Enjoy. I hope that you guys can see everything. You guys are now, you guys are now with me. We're in the first person. So first off, we got our new egg package and some stuff from Amazon. As of now, let's go ahead and see if I can get my old case. It's in here somewhere. I, I, you know, it's one of those old cases that you just thought you would never use. And at this point, I just think it would be hilarious if I put an all new spec PC. Oh, and there it is, boys. There it is. I haven't seen this case in I don't know how long. It might have bugs. It might have spiders. It might have any sort of infestation, but we're gonna get this thing cleaned out. And uh, let's go ahead and see what's in here. It looks like I did already strip some things out of here, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing opened. Man, it's dirty too. This is quite the abomination. This is the X-Blade something, and it's all chrome. It looks hideous. It's gonna be a sleeper though, and I think it'll be hilariously ugly. One thing I am worried about though is I don't know if my, I don't know if my 3070 will fit in this case. We might have to remove some of these hard drive cases, which, oh, it also looks like there's still a hard drive in there, interesting. So here it is, this is a dusty mess, holy moly. I, I'm just wondering if my graphics card will even fit in here, but let's go ahead and just get everything just stripped out of here so we can just get it all blown out and out of here. But it looks like we have all the components though. So I believe this goes into here and into the side here so we can display our awesome X blade, whatever. Well, I don't even know if this is a current brand anymore. I've never seen this before. Yeah, we do have an EVGA motherboard, RIP. Let's quit talking, Let's just get to screwing everything out of here and get it all cleaned up. Lots of dust. There you go, look at that. This is our old school EVGA 790i. And there you go. Now it looks like we do also have a random hard drive in here, so we won't be needing that because we're going all NVMe, nice and clean. Which is funny, like you almost don't even need any of these anymore because of the fact that you just run NVMEs and they sit nice and hidden on your motherboard. It looks like we have a, I was hoping this was an SSD, but it looks like this is just a regular 320 gig hard drive. So this does have a little disc inside, so who knows if it's even still good or not. Probably really slow though. Would not recommend reusing that. Okay, looks like we're running into some other stuff here. Yeah, so I might have to leave the CD drive just because it takes up the space and I don't have that cover. And for the sake of it just looking clean, probably just end up leaving that. I was hoping that the hard drive cage was screwed in. I'll have to look from the other side, maybe it is. 
but it's looking like it's been tacked in, which is a little unfortunate because I'm really thinking I need to get this out, especially if I want to fit my graphics card into here. So if that's the case, I might have to whip out the Dremel and Dremel off these little bits. Oh, wow, look, it's got a little, little door. And then as you can see down here, we have our button, our reset, some more um, USBs, 3.5 jack. I'm not sure what that connector is. I don't know if it goes to anything. There we go. Okay, not bad. Got a lot of dust bunnies here. We're just gonna have to get the blower out and take care of those. All right, get this fan out of here. Okay, another little tiny fan. It's not even 120 millimeter. I'm not too sure how big that is, maybe 80 or... And that's pretty much it. So with this being an older case, we will have to do some modifications, but we did find some screws to actually make this work, but we're gonna have to do some cutting with the Dremel just to make it look a little bit cleaner. Otherwise those will be sticking out and maybe hitting our graphics card. Secondly, the hard drive cage isn't going to work. Our 3070 is definitely gonna collide with this. So we're gonna have to whip the Dremel out again and pull this out. Since this is an older case, everything is kind of tacked in. So hopefully we can take the Dremel and cut those off and just pull it right out. So let's get those all taken out. We've already wiped it down, but we'll probably have to give it one more wipe down after we cut all this stuff. Okay, those are done. There you go, a little bit cleaner. I'll just have to tighten them down. That should be good. Oh, nice. There we have it guys. We got the case all cleaned up, all dust free. We even used some car waterless wax stuff just to make this thing look all pretty. We even went above and beyond and whipped the Dremel out and got rid of all the hard drive cages and everything that'll be in the way of our huge RTX 3070. Now we have all the space in the world to get this going. It's clean, it's ready. Now we can finally get to the fun part and get all of our new components unboxed and get them all put in here. And then lastly, we'll go and grab our 3070 out of our current gaming PC and get that thrown into here. We even grabbed ourselves, I've been having this thousand watt power supply left. I was gonna give this all the hand-me-downs from my current streaming PC, but it has a 430 watt power supply and that just would not be enough for this end of 3070. Now for the fun part, getting all these fun, new components unboxed. And with this build, we did decide to go with the i5 12600KF. This doesn't have onboard graphics, but that's fine. This is our gaming rig. We're gonna have our 3070. We did decide to go with a micro ATX motherboard. Since it was just on the cheaper side, it's gonna be the gaming rig. It doesn't need to be full size. We won't be putting any crazy capture cards or anything into this one. It's already in our other streaming PC. And this should be our heat sink, because I did realize that Last minute, I just assumed it came with a heat sink, a stock one that would be fine, because I didn't really plan on overclocking. We ended up going with an aftermarket heat sink. It's nothing crazy. This one was a little bit cheaper, and it's from a company that I've gotten a lot of cheap heat sinks from, and they always do fine. And we decided to go with the Thermal Take UX200, really inexpensive. It should fit perfectly in here, if I were to guess. Yeah, should fit there and they're fine. And that's pretty much it for the build. All right, we got all of our PC components ready. I'm gonna put you guys into a time lapse now and I'll see you guys when this is all done. pretty much all done. I got everything mounted and I did the best as I could with cable management, which it's really tough in this PC case because man, this case has no like tie downs or anywhere that you can tie stuff down to. It was really difficult, but we made it work. All we pretty much have left to do is to throw in our graphics card and make sure it fits. And as you can see, this is the current setup here. 
And man, we have two behemoth of cases. We'll be, get, be getting rid of this one, but we will be keeping this guy. And we'll be putting our new PC hopefully up on the desk until it is a little bit smaller. Should fit up there fine. But we're going to go ahead and grab the 3070 out of this one. And we'll be having to throw in the 1660 back into this guy since this will be our new streaming PC. And this one's going to go bye-bye. So let's get to it. That was a pretty easy get out of the old case. I'm just gonna give it a quick little wipe down because there are some, some fuzzies on it from it sitting in there. That PC was due for a good air blowing. That'll have to wait for another day once I get that set up as my new streaming PC. Let's see if this 3070 will fit in here. This thing is a monster. Oh yeah, we have plenty, plenty of space here. But strangely enough, we have to cut out some of our brackets here, guys. And I think I might have to go grab some of uh, the spare ones I have in the other room because we're gonna have some holes here. And since this is one of those older cases that like isn't very modifiable, these are the ones that just break off. I always hated that because once you break these off, you can never put them back on. You have to get the standalone ones. I do have some extra covers for these, which I'll have to go fish out of a box somewhere. I'm not too sure exactly where I put them, but let's go ahead and get these busted out, get this guy thrown in and see if I can go find some more of those little covers for this. Oh. Perfect. I actually had some more in the first box I looked in. What is the chance of that? That never happens. And they actually fit. And see guys, this is why I always keep extra random spare parts for stuff like this. Inside of here, I should have a few screws that should be able to hold those down. I always try to use the smallest and like usually black screws I can find. They usually look the cleanest. Okay, got those covers in there and those are all covered up now. And they're, uh, hollow so we will get some of this air throw going nice nicely through here but we do have to pop out these last two so okay that worked out better than i thought and bam. our linus screwdriver is now getting some battle scars look at that but honestly that's how you know you've been using it guys but for the next one i don't want to scratch it up more so we will use the needle nose all right our hat cam appeared to have gotten too hot so I got you guys all mounted up here now. Let's see if we can get this card mounted back up. I just got one more bracket to bend out of here and snap off, and then we should be able to fit the 3070 into here. Okay, 3070 going in. All right, heard that snap in, and it is in there. So it is good to know that taking out the hard drive cage did actually help. This would not have happened with that in there. There's no way in hell this would actually fit. I was just about to throw this back side panel on and I did realize, funny enough, there is an old price label on this case. So it looks like someone bought this used from some sort of uh, secondhand PC store or something. So there you go. It was $20 for the used ATX computer case back in. I wish it said a date on here, but it's, it's definitely over a decade old. This used to be on DDR3 RAM, whatever was in here before, so I'm gonna go and get this on. I'm gonna leave this sticker just because I think it's hilarious. I should put the, the new i5 and all the other stickers I have for it here on it. Maybe I will throw those stickers on there too. We got the, the G-Skill RAM to throw on there as well, so maybe we will put those all next to it just, to, just for fun and who knows. We'll see how long this case lasts me, but for the time being, I think it's funny. I think this will look hilarious on my desk, and I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed how bad this PC looks. But hopefully it'll look cool on the inside. Let's get the first boot up going and see how it looks. Man, this thing is looking beautiful. But let's get this side panel on and let's go see if we can go plug this into some power and get it to boot up.
Most people think what makes a great gaming PC is tempered glass with crazy amounts of RGB shining through every bit. But what really makes a great gaming PC is knowing you chose every component that went into making your new awesome PC. It doesn't always need to cost thousands of dollars and it doesn't need to look cool for anyone else but yourself. So don't be afraid to reuse that nasty computer case that you used in elementary and make it awesome. And there you have it guys, this PC has turned out quite amazing. I have uh, honestly already been playing on it for about a week now and it has had zero hiccups. Windows 11 was super easy to get installed on this and XMP profile was super simple to get set up with DDR5 and I got it set to its normal speeds and this PC is awesome. It performs great, temps are good. I fit a couple extra fans in there as you guys could probably see from the B-roll and it's a complete PC now. Will I be sticking with this case long term? Honestly, it's kind of growing on me how funny it is, so I'll probably end up just keeping this PC as is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, how stupid or ugly or awesome you think this case turned out, and if you guys have done something similar with other cases. I've done numerous of these types of builds with cases from like Goodwill or secondhand stores, and it's always doable, and it always feels good to reuse something that otherwise would have just gone to waste. This has been a, a fun little episode to record for you guys. We are using the new Insta360 GO 3, and we were able to get some cool shots, and, which otherwise we wouldn't have been able to do. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.